Hey, what up, guys? So I think I've got kind of a janky fix for the textures um, for Devil May Cry 5 on Linux. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of how I did it. Uh, so I've got this website pulled up. Um, you want to download this RE tool as well as the Devil May Cry 5 Discord link. This will give you these fold or these files, the uh, five pack names release list, as well as the retool.exe. Um, go into your Devil May Cry 5 folder in Steam, and you should see um, these RE chunk files. And I went ahead and copied my uh, my downloads in here already. Um, so this first 31 gig pack file is where all the game assets are. And what we want to do is actually extract this, and then we're going to make a mod for the game where we just tell the game to, um, instead of looking in the pack file for all of the uh, like base quality textures, um, we're going to replace those with the high quality textures. So yeah, um, the way we're going to do that is uh, go ahead and rename this DMC5 pack names release to just like dmc.list. And then we're going to go ahead and extract the pack so I'm going to go ahead and open wine commands. Um, the extract command for this, you're going to do DMC, or sorry, retool.exe. You need to give it that list um, after the H flag, and then extract with X, and just point it at that chunk pack. And this will probably take it like 10 minutes or so to extract. Um, it's just going to dump all these into this rechunk 000 folder. And uh, we'll just come back once that's done. Great. So now that that's finished up, um, we're going to do a couple things to prepare. So let's go ahead and exit out of our wine commands. Um, I'm going to make a copy of that rechunk folder that it extracted everything to, as well as a copy of this pack file. Um, just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. Okay, great. So now that I've got copies, um, I'm going to get in here and start modifying stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually end up running that RE tool again, and we're going to run it on um, the files that we want hidden from the game. So as far as stuff that I've found that's safe to um, replace with the high quality assets, it's mostly just a few things. Um, I don't want to blacklist anything else that, uh, that I don't know if the game needs or is important or not. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything except for um, props, environments, and characters. And characters, I'm pretty sure we're good to replace the whole thing. Um, environments, all these location folders, we're going to go ahead and delete those as well and leave just the textures. And same with props, too. We can delete this gimmick folder and then all of the uh, folders except for textures. Oh, this is big. Great. So now that I've got all of my textures um, isolated in this in this uh, special directory structure, um, we should be good to tell the game to blacklist all these um, from the pack file. So we're going to close out, or not close out, we're going to go ahead and open our wine command again. And let's see. So I've got my backups, I've got my rechunk folder. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run retool.exe. Um, the I flag is to tell it to um, blacklist the uh, the things we specified in the folder um, in that pack file. So we're going to go ahead and give it the pack file first, and then give it the folder. Oh, and yeah, for some reason that is a thing. Uh, just ignore the uh, the dot pack when you're typing that in is all. Okay, there we go. So we've got all 8,000 files that were in that folder um, invalidated. So now what we can do is once those files are invalidated, the game will look in um, the natives folder. 
um, for replacements. So I've got this prepared as well, but let's go ahead and redo it. So I'm gonna go ahead and split view. We're gonna open up our natives original folder and we're gonna go into streaming. And this is where all the high quality assets are. Um, we're gonna rename our re chunk um, folder to natives. And then we can pop in here and start overwriting our low quality textures. So I'm gonna take our streaming folder characters and just copy that whole folder in. And we'll just uh, write into and overwrite. And same with our environments textures. And we'll get all these overridden as well. And then just the props left. So yeah, we're just going to let all these copies finish up too, and then we'll check out the game. Great, so that just finished up. Um, so yeah, just to recap, what we've done is blacklist all the low quality textures in our pack file. Uh, in our pack file. And then um, once those are blacklisted, the game will look in this folder, uh, the natives folder, and um, it'll use all the high quality assets that we dumped in there. I actually see a mistake. This uh, second natives folder shouldn't be here. So let's just go ahead and fix that real quick. Yeah, so the folder structure should be natives and then x64 and then the regular structure. Um, great, so now that we uh, fixed that problem, uh, let's go ahead and pop the game open and see if what we did worked. Great, so now that we're loaded in, um, there's a few things off the bat that you can uh, see. Uh, I always run over here to the um, to like the brick textures, and those ones are always really obvious for me. Uh, this cliff usually is like basically unloaded. Uh, that one block there too. So yeah, we can see it actually is looking really good. Cool. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show off. Um, hopefully that was clear enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.